this is a quick, like, I don't know, it's not really a review, but uh, kind of an overview of this new steering wheel I got. It's a Camus uh, C5 steering wheel. Um, yeah, so it's a, an 11 inch wheel and wheelbase. It's like a combo unit comes like all as one, you know, um, most wheelbases like, that are in this price range come as a wheelbase and then you can unhook the steering wheel from it and uh, put a different one on there if you'd like. Um, but this one's all one unit, pretty compact, small wheel size, 11 inch wheel, um, really easy to table clamp. Uh, this onto like your PC desk. Um, it's a direct drive wheel. It has five newton meters of holding torque. So like that's how how much the steering wheel like resists you when you're uh, like going into a turn or something like that. Um, and I would say like the peak torque value is like somewhere closer to six and a half to seven newton meters it's very comparable to like the fanatic csl dd with the eight newton meter boost pack on it um has shifter paddles i don't know if you were able to see them but right right here these are shifter paddles they're very small I, I thought that would be like a con of this thing but i turned it out turns out like they're really easy for me to to actuate and use in use they're very uh, user friendly so yeah I really like them uh, the buttons feel fine uh, has three encoders down here which is something you don't get in like a entry level direct drive wheel like most of them just come with buttons you know but this has three encoders on it which is very cool uh, you can use those for like ABS and TCS control, um, fine tune them. Uh, what else? Does have like a a phone app that you can use, so you can dial in your settings without having to go into the like the PC app that it also has. Um, it has your your normal settings for PC app, like for like as far as like adjusting how the wheel feels. So it has like natural friction, um, natural damper, um, wheel spring. So like that would be like the the wheel, how it, how far, how fast it comes to center itself, you know? Like you know when you tor turn a normal steering wheel, how fast it centers itself, comes back to center. So you can dial that in to where it feels normal to you. Um, as force feedback intensity settings, um, the, and your, obviously like the force feedback strength setting as well. Um, like the pedals that come with this, they're decent enough. It's a two pedal set. And I'll show those real quick here. Let's see. This is what they look like. Um, it's just a metal plate as a brake and a gas so nothing to it really connects uh, via USB to the wheelbase uh, it also has like this uh, little phone jack connection there I don't know what that is for because the wheelbase for this one doesn't have that but I don't know Brake and, st and the gas, they feel pretty much exactly the same. Maybe the brake is a little tougher to push down, but uh, they're fine. Um, they work okay. They're not spectacular or anything, but uh, they're decent. They get the job done. Um, they have uh, mounting points too, so where you can hard mount them. Um, four corners right here. Um, one right there, one in the other corner, down there, and over here. Uh, 
I, I would suggest hard mounting them if you if you can because like when you press down like like they'll it'll flex on you like and want to do that you know it'll want to pop up on you on the other side but it's not bad you can you can race with it without it hard mounted um what else this is mainly a piece for a pc setup use um used for PC games. Uh, you can use it for console if you get this other device, you know, uh, the other device, it's called like a Resolution 2. Um, that'll run you another like 75 to to $100 to get that though. And that works, that'll make this work with like PS3, P PS4, PS5, Xbox 360, and I think that's about it. It doesn't work with Xbox One and Xbox like Series X anymore. Uh, it used to, but uh, like Microsoft's being weird about it, and they're not letting third-party devices work like that anymore. I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, it's just the way it is. Um, I would say like the now getting into the cons of this device, uh, the shipping price of this thing. So. The wheel, 250 bucks, right? Pedals, 50 bucks. Okay, that's 300. Table clamp, $30. 330 bucks, right? You're thinking, okay, shipping. No more than 40 bucks, right? So you're at 330, you're thinking like, it'd be like 370, you know, 360, something like that. 30 or 40 bucks, right? $70 for shipping from Camus's website. Like, there's no tax, which is good, but uh, $70 for shipping. So that'll run you... It ends up being $400 for this wheel, which is, you know, it's still the cheapest direct drive wheel that you can get. <laughs> um, like, just to compare it with... Something like the Fanatec or Fanatic CSL DD five newton meter bundle that would run you like four forty four hundred forty bucks to four hundred sixty bucks. Plus you got to throw in a thirty dollar table clamp if you want to. You know if it's you know getting everything that you would get with this. Um, that's like four hundred ninety dollars. For that or 470 470 to 490 because like there's a couple of different uh models that are like similar priced for different like a few different bundles on the fanatic website that are pretty similar but uh yeah so this is still the cheapest that you can get get away with for direct drive wheels um and like the Moza R5 bundle, that'd run you like again, four eighty five, four hundred eighty five dollars. Um, there is the PXN V12 Lite bundle, but that's like currently not available anywhere. Like Amazon had it for like five hundred twenty bucks, with and that thing has better pedals, which is a big plus. Um, but yeah, and that has full console compatibility, which would be nice. Um, um, but, uh, yeah, that is another con to this would be, it's not fully supported for, with consoles. Uh, uh, what else? Oh yeah, another big con. This doesn't have native button mapping for for video games on PC. Like you have to go in, go into the game, map every button on this thing that you want to use or that the game uses. So that'll take you a good chunk of time. Like it's not like pick up and play right away like I know some people were saying like they're used to doing that with 
their their wheels but like with Fnatic like that has native support for for games on PC like they just it recognizes the wheel and it maps the buttons automatically so you can just jump in and play so I guess that's kind of what you're paying for with you know the extra cost with the Fnatic wheel um because that'll take you a good like I said like a good chunk of time to go in and map everything for a game but once you have it mapped it'll remember it um in the game uh what else so yeah no native button mapping for pc it's not natively supported by console um, and some people like i said i like the, the paddle shifters they're fine for me but that won't be the case for everybody uh, Oh yeah, another thing I had trouble with when I was like assembling this little uh, table clamp and stuff. Like I don't know if you can see this, but in here there's like a little fan, a little tiny fan. It's like a PC fan, like for a laptop or something like that. But to connect it to the wheelbase, you have to connect it right here, and it's like a a little three-pin connector. Be very careful when you're connecting that stupid cable because it is a pain to con like to plug into this. Like you have to press, I want to say, you have to press like to where you have to just line up those little tiny connectors in there because uh, you can smash them and it won't work properly. But I, I watched another review on this. And he said he ran it without the fan. You don't even really need it, but, you know, it comes with it, so you might as well use it just in case it starts to get too hot during use. It never got past, like, 45, 50 degrees when I was using it, so it was fine. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, the pedals... I mean, you can't adjust the the height of the pedal plate here, like so you could move this up higher, down lower if you wanted to. Um, yeah, that's about it for the Camus C5. Um, it's very, uh, very good wheelbase wheel combo. Hope you enjoyed that review slash overview or whatever. Um, this is I bought this myself. Nobody, like Camus, didn't send it out for review or anything. Um, yeah. And I haven't seen, like, any reviews on YouTube for it like, that weren't like, paid for or, you know, it wasn't sent out by the company. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the review. Peace. We'll see you later.